going to help you answer the question, do you really need to buy new tires? Now unfortunately, you can't just go to a tire store and ask, because half the time, hey, the salesmen, they want to sell you something, so of course they're going to tell you you need new tires. So I'm going to show you how you can check tires out yourself. And the first thing you need is a shiny new penny. Simply take the penny upside down, put Lincoln's head in the tread. And as you can see right here, Lincoln's head is pretty well covered up. Now in that case the tread was about this deep, which is pretty deep, but if the top of Lincoln's head would have been sticking up and it's about that thick, that's about the time you need to get new tires. And when you do check the tire, you look all around to make sure the whole tire is deep, because if you have some area that's really shallow and other is deep, the tire needs to be replaced and the front end needs to be checked to see if there's something wearing to make the tire wear on evenly. Now other than just straight wear, you want to look for cracks in the tire. Now this particular tire is about 10 years old, so it's time for it to be replaced, because it's just getting old and cracking. And yeah, I know, it's my car and my tire, but here's the reason I've left it on. This old tire, hey, it may be 10 years old, but I've never had to add air to it. I've had to add air to the newer tires, they're only a year old every once in a while, but I've never had to have it here. Just goes to show that they used to make things better than they do today. And since I drive in the city most of the time and only put about 900 miles a year on my car, I just left it alone. But if I was going to take a big trip like to California or something, I'd buy a new tire here because I wouldn't want it to blow on the highway from being cracked and then just come apart. So if you're like me and you don't drive that much and your tires are old, if your tires are six or seven years old, you might take a look and see if they're cracking. And if they are, go get a new set of tires so you don't endanger yourself at highway speeds. Then of course the question arises, if you need new tires, which tires should you buy? Well as a general rule of thumb, I go to a discount tire store and I look at the tires there. I never buy the cheapest tires because they're often Chinese made ones that aren't that good. So being a cheapskate that I am, I'll buy the second or third cheapest tire and then that's perfectly good for what I'm doing, just normal city driving and I don't put that many miles on them anyways, they dry rot before they wear out. Now if you're planning on zipping around in a performance car, hey, you want performance tires. You want ones that are stickier, have more grip, they're going to wear out faster, but you need something that can handle higher speeds, because if you're going to be driving well over 100 miles an hour, you want a better rated tire to take that speed. In that case, you might want a higher performance tire like this Michelin. But whatever brand you buy, I still say stay away from Chinese made tires. When this tire was one week old, it got a hole in it that had to be plugged, and these are Chinese made tires. They're often just too soft, nails get in, they easily get punctured. And years ago, I mistakenly got a set of Chinese tires from my wife's big Toyota Cressida. In two years, they all got out around, the car kept shaking, and when I jacked it up and spun the tires, they all had big lumps in them, they were so junky, so stay away from the Chinese tires. And when it comes to maintaining your tires, there's only one thing you really need to do. Check the air pressure every once in a while. Because if you're low on air pressure, not only will you get worse gas mileage for more rolling resistance, but you're more likely to get punctures on the tire when they have less air pressure in them. And remember, tires get hot when you drive them, so the pressure goes up from the heat. So you want to check the pressure in your tires first thing in the morning when the tires are cold. And when the weather changes, like here it just went from 75 to 35, check them when it's 35 because they often need a little bit extra air then. So the next time somebody tells you you need a new set of tires, hey, check them out first before you shell out that money. And remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. before it's too late.